Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. And this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous. And here is his story. Ollie, I'm going to give you my full story soon. However, I'm in a jam at this moment. I left you a contribution. I've been awake from my narcissistic coma since 2017. I'm now 95% solid on narcissism. After I went no contact with my father and mother and both my sisters and everyone else that I considered a flying monkey around them, <clears throat> I was only in contact with my aunt shortly after my father, the head narc, finally passed away. The lowdown on my aunt. She's been a narc all my life. She raised her kids to believe that they were better than everybody else going to no end when it came to spoiling them. Even when she owned her own personal injury clinic, she used to stage car accidents. Oh, God, these people. Uh -uh. But that wasn't enough. She sold my grandmother's paid-for house right under her and pocketed the money because, after all, they were old, and who the fuck cares? She and my cousin racked up my grandfather's American Express, buying Louis Vuitton purses, etc. Finally, the FBI caught up with her and liquidated her assets, so now she is broke. My grandparents lost their new house that put my aunt... Wait, my grandparents lost their new house that my aunt put them in and had to get an apartment. By the time my poor grandfather realized what was really happening, he was livid. He even asked me to get a lawyer to go after her, but soon after dementia set in on him, and he passed away a year later. What's funny is that my grandfather used to praise her and her kids and look down on me. It's funny how narcissists always have a special talent for being figured out right near the end when it's almost damn near too late to do anything about it. <clears throat> there was 3000 left for my grandfather's death and my aunt used it for an autopsy just to get money from the asbestos class action lawsuit that everybody was on, thinking she was going to get a taste, I guess. Needless to say, he was buried like a dog at his funeral. He wasn't embalmed because there was no money. Being awake, I could see everything coming. However, I was still new to narcissism and was basically using my aunt as a vector to let my family know why I went no contact. Why would you trust a viper like this, though? I mean, this is... You knew, you knew she was a snake, so you already know she's a snake. Of course they knew, they just didn't give a flying fuck. Sure enough, she tried to find different ways to trap me into talking to my family. None of her lame-ass traps work. Then she did the ultimate by taking a screenshot of my 8-year-old daughter and giving it to my narc mother so my mother can post it on her Facebook page. I then deleted her off my Facebook Truthfully, the only reason why my aunt was in contact with me was because since my father died, all his leftover codependents might latch on to her after my mother dies and she doesn't want to be bothered by this. She likes going to Disney with her son and lives with her daughter and doesn't want that disrupted. After all, heaven forbid, any of her kids get disturbed with anything. Why do you... Why do that when she has this asshole scapegoat me to put everything on right here? My grandmother has been victimized by my Narcan and lives with my black widow narc mother. My grandmother is just a simple old lady that cannot understand narcissism and is too simple to be a flying monkey either. There's no way I can explain this to her. I know she knows that there's a problem, but obviously by their version she's but obviously by their version that she has been told. She's never brought up anything uncomfortable. So I've been okay with talking to her. At least she has sense there. However, she's still surrounded by narcs. She doesn't drive. There's no way I can have a relationship with her, especially now that I've cut off my aunt, who was the only link to seeing her, to her seeing me. 
if I give in, they will break me. If I stay the course, it's really going to break her heart. I wipe my ass of their opinions of me. I'll always be a piece of shit either way. So this is not from for them. They took 39 years of my life. I'll never get back. I, I always think about your video, Burning All Bridges That Lead Back to Narcissism. Let me know your thoughts. Warmest regards. Anonymous. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this right off the bat, Anonymous. First of all, it, it, it's funny what your screen name is, you know, based on what you're, you're dealing with your aunt. Because your aunt is a snake. Your aunt is a snake. And you know she's a snake. And it seems like you've known she's a snake the entire time. And when you deal with somebody like that on any level, you're going to get, you're going to get bit eventually. As far as your grandmother goes, like, I know you might have a really, really hard time accepting this, but I find it very, very, very difficult that your grandma, that, that your grandmother could give birth to these narcs your aunt, your mother, okay, at a, at a whole cloth. They, they, these narcs sprouted out at a whole cloth. That's not how it works, man. These behaviors are handed down from generation to generation, okay? Especially with women, especially with women. You're giving your grant, like, I understand you have some kind of emotional feeling towards your grandmother, but understand, that's how your grandma, that's your grandmother's tactic. To keep you suckered in. To keep you hoovered in. You have to burn all the bridges. Yes, you must burn all bridges leading back to narcissism. It's that simple. Because you're still not seeing it. You're still thinking that somehow, some way, you got this sweet, innocent grandmother who gave birth to these narcissistic, borderline sociopaths. And this grandfather who was just taken advantage by the, no, man, no, no, no. These, these, these people don't just sprout up like dandelions. They have a source. There's always a source. And the source is your grandpa, is your grandmother and grandfather. They're not innocent victims in any of this. They enabled all of this. They created them. Now, you might think your grandmother has puts on a really good innocent act, and I don't know, and I'm just the bullshit. Bullshit. Covert. Covert. That's her trick to keep you hooked in and to keep you guilt bonded. All bridges. You must burn. Yes. You must burn all bridges that leads back to narcissism. No contact with everybody. You're still kind of engaged with, with, with these people. So you're still not getting the clarity of no contact. You're still not getting it because you are still engaging. You are still keeping these lifelines back to the narcissism. And those lifelines back to the narcissist are going to keep your judgment clouded you will not get your clarity ever no contact means burning all bridges back to the narcissist all bridges so i hope that helps thank you so much anonymous for your contribution and your story i really appreciate it thank you to everybody watching please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, 
or you just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful. Because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all of this goes away. And believe me, YouTube and Google are going to make that happen one day. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, please follow me on the library backup app as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.